Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the static latches and registers. Static latches and registers, these in the previous video I have explained about what is the latch and flip flop and later we have seen the register also. Latch is nothing but uh, level triggered flip flop. We can say latch is nothing but a level triggered flip flop whereas flip flop is a edge triggered. Latch is nothing but level triggered. Okay, that means the data can be transferred from input to the output when the level changes from either 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 in the case of latch. Whereas if you take a register which is a group of flip-flop where the flip-flop is nothing but edge triggered. Nothing but when the input is take, taking a transition from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1, the data can be transmitted from input to the output. That depending upon the whether the positive uh, edge triggered or negative edge triggered. Similarly, latch is also a logic high level latch or logic low level latch. Now, coming to this static latch and register where the input is changing in a continuous clock cycle. Nothing but a circuit is having two stable states that represent either 0 or 1. Only three possible operating states may be possible like A, B and C. If the gain of that inverter in the transient region is larger than 1, then A and B are stable operating points. Uh, suppose if you see here, see, we are taking a two CMOS inverters in cascade. The output of first CMOS inverter is connected to another CMOS inverter as input. Again, the output of second CMOS inverter is connected to the input of the first CMOS inverter. Here it is a circuit which is a combination of two CMOS inverters connected in cascade. If you see the voltage transfer characteristic curves of these two, this is the first CMOS inverter characteristic curve where the input is equal to 0, output is equal to logic high and similarly the input is equal to 0, output is again going to high. And the opposite is the case with respect to the second inverter when we are merging these two that because when we are cascading these two inverters, the inverter characteristics are also going to be merged in the way in which it forms like a loop. See, here this is the characteristic curve of the first inverter as I have mentioned and this is the characteristic curve of the second inverter. Okay, so a circuit having a circuit having two stable states two stable states that represent either 0 or 1, 0 and 1, 0 and 1, two stable states, two stable states, we can say it is a bistable, two stable states is nothing but a bistable state. Okay, by stable state, there are two stable states. Completely the output will be in that state until you are upgiving another triggering pulse. Okay, that's why it is by stable state. So we can say it is a by stability. Okay. Only three possible operating points. Only three possible operating points like a comma b and c see here what are the operating points we have seen see here it is the a one operating point and b another operating point and c is the other operating point a is the operating point where the input is equal to 0 and output is maximum and b is another operating point where the input is maximum and output is equal to 0 which is the opposite case with respect to a and C is exactly we can say it is 0 0.5 times the input or 0 0.5 times the output. Okay, when half of the input voltage we have applied at that time we are having in the maximum current flow, then there will be a fall in the input and there will be a, a fall in the output and there will be an increment in the input so that there will be an equivalent uh, equilibrium point between these two input and output, then 0 0.5 times of input or we can say 0.5 times of output. 
this occurs only at one particular point equilibrium point if the gain of the inverter the gain of the inverter in the transient region is larger than larger than unity only a and b are stable operating points only a and b what are mean what do you mean by a and b when a is nothing but a is a situation when input is equal to 0 and output is equal to vdd and b is a situation when input is equal to vdd and output is equal to 0 okay so only a and b we can say these two are having stable operation stable operating points okay now see what about the state c c we can say c is a meta stable operating point then we can call the c point as meta stable meta stable operating point hope you understand now so a and b are completely stable states a and b are completely stable states because when input is equal to 0 output equal to vdd when input is equal to vdd output equal to 0 these are the two points we have discussed there and c is a point where it is exactly the center of these two which occurs at one point we can say it is an equilibrium point so that particular point is known as meta stable operating point meta stable operating point now let us see what do you mean by this meta stable operating point this is the figure represents the meta stability where the c operating point you are going to study meta stability meta stability we can say it is having positive feedback positive feedback now c as i said a and b are two stable points and what about c c is a meta stable point which occurs very for very short duration which occurs for very short duration see delta is here indicates that duration at which the particular c point is going to be existed okay so if the gain of if the gain around the loop being larger than 1 larger than 1 a small derivation d a small deviation a small deviation d is applied to v i 1 v i 1 is nothing but input where we have applied at the first CMOS inverter bias c bias in c amplified by amplified by the gain of the inverter the gain of the inverter okay we know c is a meta stable point so c is an unstable operating point bias point moves away from c until one of the operating points c and b are reached c is an unstable operating point unstable operating point bias point moves away moves away from C until one of the operating points
either A or B is reached. Okay, see here, if you go to the metastability point where nothing but C point, this C occurs for very short duration and immediately that point again goes to either B or A. Okay, so the gain of this particular point at this particular point, the gain of the system, the gain of this uh, uh, circuit should be greater than 1 in this particular transition region because if you are talking about A and B, these two are stable states whereas when you are talking about C, which is a transition duration, C, when you are changing from A to B, this C is occurred and again from you are changing from B to A, this C is occurred. So, C occurs in transition period where you are having a circuit with high gain when compared to the normal stable state operating points. And the duration where the C occurred is a very small duration for that you are having a positive feedback uh, such that the cascaded loop gives the maximum gain. Okay. So, this is the metastability and these are the two stable points. So, that's why we can say it is a bistable operating point. Okay. Thank you.